Hello everyone, welcome. Good to be with you again. This is the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came down with the twelve and stood on a stretch of level ground with a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all over Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon. And raising his eyes toward, and raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, "Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man." Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know about you, friends, but sometimes I read a, a Gospel and sometimes it hits me in a way where I'm saying, which side am I on? Which side am I on of the people Jesus are describing? Am I the one who has everything going for me? And am I going to be not blessed in the future? Or am I the one that maybe is having struggles? Or maybe, you know, not feeling that I fit in, but I'll be blessed in heaven. One thing I do know, every one of us is loved by God in a way that we will never truly understand. Friends, how are you being loved by God? How are you in your life right now understanding that God is with you, that God will never, ever let you go? He will never abandon you. See, we will abandon him. We could abandon him. Sometimes we might abandon him. But he will never abandon us. How many times have we heard about people, people we know, people who maybe were acquaintances of ours or are acquaintances of ours, and they have fallen away from the practice of their faith because they're feeling that Jesus is not a part of their life, that Jesus is not taking care of them, that Jesus is not blessing them, that Jesus is, is, is causing negative things to happen in their lives. And I, I encounter that with people, you know, and, and especially, you know, maybe around the death of a loved one. Well, God, if you were with me, why did you allow this? And you know what? I have tough tough time answering that because I wonder why do these things happen? But all I do know is this. We're born, we live, we die. And Jesus in today's gospel talks about those who seem to have the short end of the stick. They're going to be blessed. And those who seem to have everything, they're not going to be because they have everything they need now. And where I struggle with this, does that mean I have to be poor? Does that mean I have to be miserable? What if I have the good things of life? Can I have both? Can I still love God? Can I still attain heaven? And so, friends, this gospel is a challenge.
And I think the best way we can assure that one day we will be with God is that we will live faithfully now. Don't give up. When things don't go our way, it's not God coming to get us. When a loved one dies, we are not being punished. That person is not being punished. When things do go well, do we keep Jesus a part of it? Do we thank him? Do we help others? Or is it all about ourselves? I was at a, a funeral this week and, and, the, and the, the homeless, the priest, he said something that I've never quite heard this way. And he said, when we're born, we come into the world crying. And we're the only ones crying because we've left the comfort and the safety of our mother's womb. But everyone else is happy and they're rejoicing that a new life has come. When we die, we are the only ones who are not crying. Everyone else is crying, but we're not crying because we've attained what we've hoped for and lived for eternal joy and happiness with God. And I thought it was an interesting way to look at life. And so friends, as we again look at this gospel, where Jesus says, blessed are those who suffer, blessed are those who are crying, blessed are those who are hungry, they will be filled. We know that we believe that. But if we do have the good things of life, and if we are being satisfied, let's not think that we can't attain heaven, but let's be very grateful for all that we've been given. And so please reread the gospel and see what it says to you. How are you listening? How are you trusting? How are you letting Jesus take you where you need to go? And when we are discouraged, when things don't go the way we want, when we're sad, remember Jesus isn't punishing us. It's the ups and downs of life. If life was perfect, what would we live for? But life can be very fulfilling if we live in the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If we always keep him as our center, we never give up and we know that one day we will be with him if we are faithful. And friends, that's what I take from this gospel. How am I being faithful? How am I saying yes? When things are going well, how am I being the best I can be in helping others? When things aren't going well, how am I not running away from God? but rather running towards God. And know that we are loved. We will never be abandoned by God. We may walk away from him, but he will never walk away from us. So friends, I hope and pray all of us will listen and will be blessed by God. Thank him for what he has given us. And don't think that in any way he's harming us, punishing us, damning us because something goes wrong. Life is tenuous, but life is beautiful. Let us remember that and let us live it. So friends, I hope we'll all have a good week. Please don't give up. How good it is that we are here together. And let us continue to thank Jesus and know that he is blessing us, that he will bless us, and his goal is that we will one day be with him as we live this life on earth. So friends, please don't give up. Pray for all of our intentions, for all in our prayer list. Let's pray for each other. Thank you for being here. Have a great week. How good it is to be here with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.